Hey, this is Cam with Blacktail Studio, and this week I'm going to be showing you how I create my tables up. And this was a table a little over $6,000 that I created up and sent to New York State from Oregon. So it definitely needed to be secure. And so I'm going to give a quick little video on how I create these to guarantee they make it all the way there in one piece. Unlike some of my furniture builds, these materials are really readily available. It's just plywood and OSB and these three quarter inch foam sheets. And they're all available from Home Depot or Lowe's. The first thing you want to do is cut an OSB base the size of your table plus two inches. And that two inches is going to allow for the three quarter inch foam to go on all sides with just a little bit of wiggle room. Any type of large table that you're creating like this, you need to add access for a forklift or a pallet jack. And I'm going to be accomplishing that with two by fours. This will be a little bit different than your standard pallet, so I'm going to be actually nailing these two by fours together. So that's why I need six of them instead of three of them. You can see there, I'm just attaching them together with a framing nailer. Nothing too scientific about it. I'm going to put one on either end and then one in the center. And that's going to be a really good sturdy base for any forklift or pallet jack to move it around. Once you get your base assembled, you're now ready to start putting the foam on. And again, this is a foam insulation sheet from Home Depot. And you're just going to cut a piece the size of your base. Good straight edge or a level and a box knife works pretty well. And don't worry about being too scientific with this. It's just uh, just for packing. And if your piece is going across the country like mine is, you're going to get a lot of vibration in that truck. And I normally don't use bubble wrap. I kind of prefer that smooth foam, but bubble wrap's what I had. So I'm securing that with this plastic wrap, which makes it really, really secure, much more secure than it would be using like packing tape. You could use moving blankets or something like that. I worry a little bit about like a painted finish or powder coated finish with those moving blankets potentially scratching it, which is why I like the either the foam or this bubble wrap. Anyway, though, you're just moving on, get it in place, and I'm putting a little bit of a foam barrier between the metal base and that wood top. So again, I have a little bit more vibration compensation. Again, saran wrapped it in place and then put foam over the top. Now you're going to want to take some of your plywood and you're going to want to cut a piece tall enough to go to the top of that foam piece and also still be screwed into that lower 2x4 on the bottom. This is where your measurements are going to start to matter a little bit more because the more accurate you are, the more secure your table is going to be in the crate. Once you have your panels cut to size, you're going to be giving them some structure using 1x4s. And I'm using my cross cut slide to cut them. You can easily just use your miter saw. These are available from Home Depot, just standard white wood, not building a piano, don't spend a ton of time here. You're just giving some structure to the sides with these 1x4s, and then I'm just pin nailing them together with my brad nailer. And speaking of that, I have used my nail gun for everything so far, but now I'm switching over to construction screws because you want your client to actually be able to disassemble this without having to completely tear it apart. So just some simple construction screws from Home Depot work great. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't just build all the sides before and then assemble it, is I want it to be absolutely snug. I want it to be just fit perfect, and this way it ensures if you build it around the crate, it'll fit just perfect. Once I have my foam pieces in the side, I'm ready to get my other panels built. Same step as before, just measure them, screw them in with construction screws. I think I actually used a drywall screw there, which you shouldn't use, but the uh, construction screws work really well. And just like every other side, we're going to put foam between the table and the sides. And you can see just how snug this is fitting, which is exactly how we want it. Cutting it flush with the box knife. Last thing to do is build the top. No need to put the 1x4s for this top. Just getting it cut right to size. And this was maybe even off a quarter inch. It doesn't really show. So again, not building a piano. It doesn't have to be complete precision. Just good enough to cover the entire top up. And that is the entire process to building a bomb-proof crate in your garage. It should only take you maybe an hour or two, depending on how you set up. And I've actually had multiple clients call me and tell me that I make a, quote, beautiful crate, which is a weird but kind of nice compliment to get. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I'm pretty good about answering every single one of those. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.